This is Salcott and Alex Cohen. And in this video, we're going to be talking about some different types of triangles. As if you couldn't have guessed from these arrows here. So there are three different types of triangles, and they're all different. So although these may look all like triangles, maybe like the same triangle, they're all different in their own special ways. This one is classified as an equilateral triangle. Let me just write that out for you guys. Hold on. Get rid of you. Get rid there. No. Stupid program. <laughs> okay. E. No. <laughs> Equilateral. Equilateral triangle. And that's the symbol for triangle, like if you want to like shorthand it. So this one is an equilateral triangle. This one is a scalene triangle. Right there, that one. So this one is that. So it's there. This one is that. And our last type of triangle is called an isosceles triangle. Isosceles. I'm not that great in English. I'm <laughs> better in math. Um, so that's somewhat how you spell it. And it's a triangle. So let's just differentiate. So it's an isosceles triangle. Now Salcott will be explaining how these triangles are different. All right. So in equilateral triangle, which I have to point out has an I in it. Um, Oops. It's not important. Not important. Um, is a triangle um, in which all three sides are congruent to one another. All three sides have the same length, which we denote by putting these um, tiny little lines through the sides. If we wanted to show that they were not congruent, we'd have a different number of lines in each side. All right. A scalene triangle is a triangle in which none of the sides are congruent, which means none of the sides are equal in length. You'll notice that we put a different number of lines uh, dashed through each one of the sides. Now then, an isosceles triangle is a triangle in which two of the sides are congruent, but the last side is not. So you'll notice that these two sides each have the same number of dashes through them to signify that they have the same length, while the last side has one dash through it, signifying that it has a different length. So one thing to note in geometry, especially with diagramming triangles, is that problems that you'll experience will not need to draw triangles and their sides to scale. And so what scale means, means is that, um, so for example, if these three lines all look equal to you, they don't necessarily have to be equal. So like you are only supposed to go based upon the measurements or the markings, so to say. So like, because it has the two markings similar like that, this would be an isosceles triangle, even though it might look equilateral to you. So never go based upon a drawing in geometry at all, because all of them are not to scale. Unless it specifically says on the directions, please scale, which it most likely won't, but there's a rare chance that it might. For example, let's say we have a triangle with, well, three sides because it's a triangle, and two of them have the same number of dashes through them. But the last one does not have the same number of dashes. What kind of triangle is this? Remember that we need to think about the dashes. These dashes signify congruence. So if two dashes are the same, if, if there are the same number of dashes through one side, between two different sides, it means that those sides are congruent. They have the same length. If there are a different number of dashes, it signifies that they have different lengths, that they are not congruent. So notice we have two sides that are congruent here, as shown in red, and one side that isn't. If you remember from how we classified our three types of triangles, the one that fell under this characteristic was an isosceles triangle. If you'll recall, an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides, not three and not none. All right, so say they give you a triangle like this, and the markings are as so. One right here, one right there. No, two right there. Sorry, I'm blind. So one right there, one, two right there, 
and three right there. So that signifies that all sides are unequal. As you can see, three right there, one right there, and two right there. So that means that all sides are unequal. And because you know that a scalene triangle has, signs, has sides that are all unequal, you can determine that this is a scalene triangle based upon its markings, which I'll show you better. So because this one has three, this one has one, this one has two, they're all different. So that means that it's a scalene triangle because a scalene triangle has three sides that are not the same length. Salka, so take it away for our finito problem, also known as last. No, wait, that means finished. Whatever, last problem, let's go. All right, so let's say we have a triangle in our problem that looks like the one here. You'll notice uh, if, if we had the capabilities to draw straight lines with the program we're using, that this looks a bit like an isosceles triangle. But notice that the problem has not specified any congruence by marking dashes on each side. Can we say that this is an isosceles triangle? What, what can we say about this triangle? Well, if you recall from the rule that we discussed earlier, there's no way to describe this triangle because we cannot use our own visual intuition to judge this triangle. Unless the problem gives us specific markings to signify congruence, we cannot say that any of these sides are congruent. We don't know. So this could be isosceles. If, if it was written like that, it would be isosceles. But without those markings, it's, it's, it's kind of unknowable. We don't know what type of triangle this is without more information. In future videos, we'll be going into uh, more aspects of isosceles and equilateral triangles that um, you can use to determine whether a triangle is equilateral, isosceles, or scalene. Uh, but for now, we're going to leave you with this. Uh, thank you for watching, and we're signing off. Peace.